Hello everybody and welcome to this brand new channel. We're playing Crusader Kings 3 and our mission is basically going to be to take over India. Now the difference between Crusader Kings 3 and Crusader Kings 2 mainly is the size of the map. It's absolutely enormous. Enormous. I thought it would be fun to try to do something with India. And I have chosen this man, the Maharaja Sena of the Lambakana Kingdom, which is this island to do it. And so the game right now is paused, we have to set some things up. Right now we don't have much, but we'll see what we can do with it. So he's an intricate web weaver. He's got a lot of intrigue. He's paranoid, he's gregarious, that's good. He's deceitful, which isn't that good. But he's got a lot of intrigue. So basically I'm thinking we're gonna do this the intrigue way. Just be a complete and utter asshole. Scheming, murdering, and stealing our way to taking over India. Firstly, we have to deal with this problem. We're unmarried, so we need a spouse. And we need someone who at least is intelligent. That would be good. She's 34 though, so, hmm. I mean, we want a lot of children, and we're going to have a lot of children, because we're not gonna marry just once. We're gonna marry four times. So let's just have a look here. Do we have a genius? Hmm, Hale. Not bad. Quick, that's not too bad either. We primarily want someone who is a genius so we can pass it on to our children. Ooh, Amazonian. But she's 40. She's too old. No, apparently we don't have any geniuses, so we're just gonna go with the next best thing, which is intelligent. She's 33, she's cynical, she's arbitrary, and but she's calm. She is 34 and she's greedy, arrogant, and stubborn. She has a lot of learning though. You know what? We will go with Azima as our first wife. Chance of children is low. Doesn't matter though because we're gonna have a couple of other wives. So we will send that proposal and we are now married. Fantastic. Now what about the secondary spouses? Patient, wrathful. Patient, wrathful, deceitful as well. But she's quick. Yeah, she'll do. And boom, we're married again. Need to go for the lifestyle thing as well. We'll go with intrigue. Skullduggery, temptation, or intimidation. Hmm. No, we'll do the skullduggery thing. But anyway, back to uh, marriage. We need to find a few more wives. She's an ob- <laughs> What? Oh my. But she's a thrifty clerk and she is an administrator. Ambitious, humble, and lustful. Huh. That means that people are a little bit afraid of her. Maybe we should have an albino wife. Ah, here we have Ingyin. She's going to stress herself out. Oh, we can marry a lunatic. <laughs> a 16 year old lunatic. Ingyin. Uh, she'll have to do as well. Somehow I just want to marry this woman. You know what? We're gonna marry her. We will marry the albino. We are married. And we are married again. We're above our domain limit. Way above our domain limit. We have one child, so we'll basically grant him some titles. We have an empty council position. Now we need a new steward. We have terrible stewards. And then our spy master, our wife. Wait, which wife? Oh, our uh, third wife. Our wife doesn't like us very much for some reason. Uh, foreign culture, not in a monogamous marriage. Oh dear, she has a problem with polygamy. Oh, we'll have her just assist us. That's fine. What we're gonna do is basically try to expand. We need to look at our military first though. Our heir is unmarried too. Hmm. No, we don't want someone who is slow. Yeah, we're gonna go for the sadistic uh, naked woman here. I'm sure they'll have a lot of fun together. So, create men at arms, what do we want? We can't afford anything because we don't have enough gold. So, we're not endorsed by Rajapurit, why not? Oh, come on, minus one, that's it? And our son married the naked woman. Maybe they'll start a sadistic nudist colony. She doesn't like him, maybe because he's got clothes on. So, this guy is closest and we don't have, we cannot subjugate him. I guess we're gonna have to fabricate a claim, unless we can declare war on this. No, we cannot. So the closest is Pandia. What about our Shorevirs? We'll invite some, just to see what's available. What if we can seduce him? That won't work. My wife, Mara, is with child and I should be, or she has been acting straight, I can't she's doing something wrong. Oh no. So we got our first Shorevir. Ooh, a brilliant strategist and a legendary blade master and a 20 pre- Hmm, this guy is not bad. How much is this man? 30 gold. Uh, we can't really afford any good knights at the moment, but he can stay as our guest for now. 
they only basically have levies. So if we just create some bowmen soon, that should be fine. Now we can create some bowmen. Udia, what? My half brother can marry. Oh boy. County of Pigu. Potential alliance. Okay. Powerful vassals demand. Oh, we can't. My wife is with child. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Well, we got to try to look into this discreetly again. Oh my God. It's our main wife. <laughs> she doesn't like us already. Oh boy. She hates us. By no indication. Either. So why, why is this man? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Because he's paranoid, isn't he? What's wrong with the albino wife? With a babe cradle in her arms, my right looks up my head. Okay. Husband dearest, I think we should name her Rasumilia after me. What do you say? A lovely idea. Well, okay, here's the problem. There will be a lot of names right now, and we have to keep track of them. So, this one shall be named Marilyn Monroe. This man is seriously paranoid. This hasn't worked, so I'll just ask her. Oh boy, uh, another daughter. Uh, so, Lauren McCall. So we got one son and two daughters. Our son is married to the naked woman. What now? What now? Another daughter, Betty Grable. We can soon increase this to size two, but that wasn't very smart because now we won't have enough money to fabricate the claim. That wasn't very smart. Another daughter, Verna Lisi. We can marry these daughters off to create massive alliances. What about this man? He's got two children. Rakumar. His wife is in prison. What about his other son? He already has another naked wife. Now what? Long evening of state business, but then slowly again, both of us deep in our cups, slurringly swapping saucy stories. Saucy. Thoughts of blackmail race, I'm bitten to my mind. Perhaps Odaya is actually a little keener on this subject than he knows. Wait, what? I have no idea what this guy is talking about, but Let's see. We got pretty good intrigue, so 95%. Let's go for it. Ooh, he's got a secret. My half-brother. 81 gold? Uh, I can't right now. Oh, we'll fabricate another one, and hopefully we'll get up to 81 gold next time. Why doesn't our third wife like us? As I push aside the sheet slate, and I find a little scroll resting on my bolster. Someone has entered my chambers and noticed. A chill resting on my I can't even thick parchment. My delightful stallion, lord of my heart. I can keep my feelings even no longer. From this day on, I will do everything in my power to prove my loyal affections. What? Maharani is our wife. She is literally our wife. Our third wife. Fine. You flatter me, my lady. Basically, my own wife will fight for my affection. That's fair enough. And she's pregnant. How's our council doing? They all like us, apart from Maharani Ingyan, who's still in love with me. And our military, 1,500 strong, and then 200 bowmen. Their military strength is now inferior to ours because they only have a bunch of levies and light footmen. Ooh, new perk available. I think we're gonna go with the truth is relative. Another daughter, Ursula Andrus. See it done. So we will declare war on this man and we will take what is unrightfully ours. Rally point at Jaffna and we will march. Wait, what is he doing with the boat? Is he going for our capital? I think he is. He's going for our capital. Oh, you silly man. What is he doing? Fight me! We got a plus four roll. I have one more Shorvir than he has. Well, let's get this thing done. We should win this victory. We lost 200 and they lost 400. Ooh, we can call him our ally. What does he have? Well, he has a bit. I'm actually gonna wait a bit. Allied combatant was slain. Oh dear, no prisoners either. So what we'll do is we'll try to march on his capital. We will crush him and hopefully take some prisoners too. Jaffna's under siege. Oh, you silly man. So that's a 67% war score and we've taken prisoners. This guy actually has some kind of boat. We are crushing him. We will win. That is 87% war score. No idea how many people live here. Oh dear, look, we're at war. I don't care about that now. We got two prisoners. So is he worth any money? No. What about this man? He's 10. Is he worth any money? No. But we'll ransom him off anyway. And so the war continues on. Oh, and here they come. Uh, yeah. Why not? I'd like to have my wife as my soulmate. Intrigue perk. Murder scheme power. Oh, yes. Now back to this war. I have to chase these people. Boom, that's 100% war score. And we took him prisoner. 78 gold, so why not? We can still enforce the demands. Now we're above our domain limit again, but we have done some expansion, which is nice. Another daughter, Jane Seymour. Anyway, we need to grant our son another title. 
Oh, babies cry, but little Jane Seymour, there's no end to the tears. It's not... Uh-oh. Jane Seymour is not eating. We will disband the army. And with that, we can end this episode. We've just started off with the Lamba Kana something on our way to try to take over India. Thank you all so much for watching this brand new channel. Hope to see you again next time.